Welcome to Stacey D's Kitchen, meringues. Some people love them, some people hate them. But today I'm gonna to show you a recipe that you're gonna absolutely love and you're gonna to wanna to make time and time again, the most beautiful white fluffy meringues. And after that, I'm gonna show you how to make them into unicorn poos. <laughs> and after that, I'm gonna show you how to turn them into unicorn poo pops. Enjoy. Uh, so I'm gonna put 150 grams of room temperature egg whites into my stand mixer. Um, it is squeaky clean, it's very important when you make a meringue to make sure your stand mixer is squeaky clean. And I will put this on a slow speed. What I want to do is just get the bubbles to develop in the egg white. I can see some nice bubbles in here, so now I'm gonna put a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar in there. That will just stabilize the meringue. As soon as the egg whites reaches soft peaks, um, we're gonna add the sugar one tablespoon at a time, very, very slowly, making sure each tablespoon has dissolved before adding the next one. This way the meringue will be really massive and voluminous and not, and not go into a gloopy, soupy mess. Right, let's see whether this is ready now. Yeah, that's ready, soft peaks. It doesn't, soft peaks, you know, if you do that and it doesn't fall out, you basically know it's ready to start adding the sugar into. Nice big tablespoons of sugar. Speed it up after each addition. Could actually take a good 10 minutes to get all this sugar in, but you really want to take the time. It's the most important part. Slow it down again, add the next one in. And speed it up again. And have a sip of tea while you're waiting. Slow it down again. Speed up again. <laughs> and so it continues until we get to the end. I'm just adding the last bit of my sugar in. I'm now going to set my timer for five minutes and we'll let it whisk away on a high speed for five minutes and then hopefully it'll be ready. Lovely, now it's time to add the essence of your choice. I'm using candy floss because these are unicorn meringues. Um, so my favorite is candy floss uh, food flavoring and you don't need to add very much at all. So a few little drops, about 10 maybe, 10 drops. How many was that? I don't know, <laughs> anyway, it smells great. Um, and now we're gonna mix it in for about two minutes. Smells lovely. Wow, okay, so take a little bit of meringue on your finger, rub it like that. If you can't feel any grains of sugar, and I can't, it means the meringue is ready, but also you can see, because look at that, it's like, it's perfect meringue. It's not falling off from the whisk. If you wanted to stop here, you absolutely can. This is perfect meringue for a pavlova or for meringue kisses. You can scoop it out and put it on a tray, or you can pipe it onto a tray and put it in the oven, done. But obviously, as it's me, there's no way we're finishing here. Because um, I'm making unicorn poos and unicorn poo pops. So, I will show you what to do. We're gonna split this meringue into three. I'm just gonna take it off of the whisk. There is some sugar at the top. We don't wanna take that sugar, so we'll be a bit careful. And we're gonna split this into three. Uh, one, two, three, because I want three colours. One, Ooh. okay, so I'm gonna have a pink and a blue and a purple. Okay, I've got one in there, one in there, and the rest of it in here. Put the whisk on, and now it's time to colour it. So, kind of turquoise colour. You can put as much or as little in as you want. Obviously electric pink, which is my favourite. And in this one, we're gonna go for a violet. Okay, now we're gonna gently, gently fold it in. You don't want to take out all the air of your meringue. So try and be as gentle as you can folding it in. I'm gonna spoon it into the piping bag. Doesn't matter if you can see a little bit of white still, it's really not a problem. It's one. Oh, I love pink. <laughs> Look at this. My 
kids love these. And, and they're great to make with kids too. You can see I'm slightly squashing it down and there's a reason for that, which you will see momentarily. Now we've got the, uh, we've got the purple one in here, so let's whisk it up. Lovely colour that, isn't it? I've got three lovely colours and now I need to put them into this piping bag. So I have a large piping bag and there's an open start tip at the bottom. You can use any kind of tip you want, but I like this one and you'll see why. It goes a little bit Mr Whippy as you're piping it. Um, I'm going to take a little end off of each one. One, two, three. Now I'm going to put them in the bag here. The reason why they need to be flat is so they fit in the bag evenly. I do have a little bit more pink than the other colours, but that's because I really like pink. But you don't have to, you could do more blue if you want, or anything. So we're going to make sure that they're even in the bag. Now it's time to pipe these out onto your lime baking tray, which I have here. I'm going to do a nice Mr. Whippy swirl. Some big ones and some little ones because not all poos are the same size. <laughs> now it's time to do some glitter. A little sprinkle of glitter on the top. Nice magical element. Make them so pretty. We get these in the oven at 100 degrees for about 45 minutes until they can be pulled off of the baking parchment without falling apart. Oh. Now they're going in for about 45 minutes. Now I'm just going to leave these to cool for around half an hour. You can get some white chocolate and melt it, or you can use some candy melts like I have. And um, this is how we're going to change our unicorn poos into unicorn poo pops. Dunk your lolly stick into your chocolate or your candy melt. Nice amount there. Find any nice looking meringue and pop the stick gently into the middle. Like so. I'm going to put it in my cake pop stand in order for the bottom to just set hard. If you don't have a cake box stand, don't worry at all. You can actually just turn an egg box upside down and put some holes in and it will be absolutely perfect for you. Let's carry on now and do a few more. You don't want to break the meringue, so you want to be nice and gentle when you're pushing it in. These are great for a tea party, a birthday party, even to give us gifts um, wrapped in cellophane with a pretty ribbon. Once the candy melts set, it uh, set the poo. Well, the poo will stay on the pot, <laughs> nice and securely. There we are, candy floss flavoured unicorn poo pops. And the rest of these, I'm just going to pop on the tray and leave as simple unicorn poos. Oh, I'd love it if you could make some and send me a photograph, and I'll share it on Instagram. It'd be wonderful to see your creations. Thank you so much for watching my tutorial. If you enjoyed it, then please click the subscribe button below. And also, if you have any comments, I really like to know if there's anything you'd like me to make, just tell me and I'll see if I can make that happen. Bye.